New survey finds 80% of small businesses that applied for the payroll protection program are still waiting for financial assistance. The National Federation for Independent Businesses conducted the survey on April 17th and the day after the program ran out of money. And one Rhode Island company recently changed its entire business model to keep the doors open. As Eyewitness News reporter Logan Wilbur reports, it says it's going to need the government's help to keep it open in the future. Rhode Island-based G-Form is changing its operations to address a shortage of personal protective equipment. Now it's in need of protection for its business and its dedicated team of employees. With no sports being played, sports protective equipment company G-Form was no longer selling its products and facing a tough decision. Unfortunately, looking at having to furlough our entire workforce, um, you know, the factory in you know, Smithfield, it was something that kept me up at night and we just brainstormed said, how do we do this? How do we keep it open? The answer, manufacture a new product while sticking to what it knows, teamwork and protective equipment. We're actually working with um, five different companies. Collectively, we've, we've probably saved um, or hired 250 people in Rhode Island uh, through this effort. And we're, we're generating, you know, like I said, about 30,000 face shields a day. G-Form CEO Glenn Giovannucci says the shift to producing face shields for healthcare workers cost double what he anticipated. But he was hoping relief from the Small Business Administration's payroll protection program would help the company through this transition. However, PPP funds have dried up. It's frustrating. Hopefully the government passes the new legislation and there's more funding and then all of us can get helped out and you know, keep our businesses afloat. Manufacturing face shields has allowed G-Form to keep its doors open, but the company is still going through difficult times with nowhere to sell the products it's best known for. Without government assistance, Glenn fears what the future may hold. Without revenues, it makes it uh, a very difficult process to keep everybody employed. So as you can imagine, it's... Uh, it's imminent if, mm. if uh, things don't go the right way. Glenn tells me even if sports resume soon, the company does expect to lose 40 to 50 percent of its anticipated revenue. He also says the company will continue to produce these protective masks so that the country is not relying on others during these times of need. Reporting in Providence, Logan Wilbur, Eyewitness News.